Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Always shown bright tonight, family, honoring the life of a woman lost in a vicious attack. Penny Doherty was beaten to death inside her Waterford home. Her husband is now charged with her murder. Sean Light, live with more on this, and you spoke to her father. Father today, aunt, stepmom, and other family members. Let me show everyone a picture of this beautiful person, Katie Doherty here, just 38 years old. She was a hairdresser for three different Oakland County assisted living communities. Absolutely loved there for the care she gave residents, giving them a full salon-like experience. Also, of course, loved by her family. We're gonna hear from them right now because Katie was taken from them with a man, her husband, allegedly beating her in the head with a wrench. She always had a smile on her face. She was, she was my niece and I loved her. Peggy Dahl loved her niece, Katie Doherty, and Katie loved her husband of two years, Justin Wagenberg. She loved him. She loved him so much. She loved mm. him. To <laughs> death. Mean, yeah, to death. Mr. Wagenberg, if you'll state your name and address, please. Uh, Justin Wagenberg. Wagenberg is being held right now in the Oakland County Jail with no bond charged with killing Katie by hitting her in the head with a crescent wrench while Katie slept on their couch. The young woman, so vibrant, was only 38. It happened in the couple's town home October 16th. Wagenberg drove to Wisconsin, then drove back. James Doherty is Katie's father. Well, on the way back, he said he found Christ or something over the last month or something, and so he decided to go back home and turn himself in, but he came home first and went to bed for I don't know how long, and then he called the police. Well, he told but them I don't... that he snapped. He was not on his meds, and he snapped. So in court Tuesday, a competency exam was ordered for Wagenberg. He seemed confused. You understand that, Mr. Wagenberg? Uh, I, don't know. Me? I, don't, I, I don't know. Um, but uh, well, we're all agree to it. But this family is devastated. And we didn't want people to think she killed herself because she right. didn't. And no. I think people think that. And she would never have done that. That's not who she was. Again, right now, Katie's husband being held the Oakland County Jail with Alphon, and that competency exam has been ordered for him. The family's speaking to me today because they say they want to speak to police and prosecutors in Oakland County because they keep finding, they say, more evidence as they go through the couple's townhome and cars. We're live tonight. Sean, they local for back to you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.